In June of 2015, two of my best friends, TJ and Adriana, shared the news that they were expecting a child. It would be an understatement to say that the child would be well-loved not only by them, but everyone around them, including their family and their close friends, who were excited to be surrogate aunts and uncles. The pregnancy progressed fairly normal until shortly after week 16 when they were informed that the baby was not growing as expected. They monitored this very closely for the next few weeks with no improved result. In order for the baby to have a chance to survive, this decision was made to deliver at week 22 after a very concerning measurement of the baby during their week 20 checkup. The baby is a girl and they named her Tara Elizabeth. After fighting for two days, baby Tara passed away. The condition which caused Tara to stop growing in the womb was due to a severe case of what is known as symmetrical in uterine growth restriction, IUGR for short. IUGR as a whole affects between 3 to 10 percent of all pregnancies, with 20 percent of stillbirths resulting due to IUGR as a cause, primarily due to low birth weight. There are two forms, asymmetrical, which accounts for 70 percent of all cases, and the symmetrical variety, which is much less common at 20 to 25 percent and much harder to treat in premature newborns. More information on IUGR, as well as other premature pregnancy complications, can be found all over the web, but awareness is still not abundantly common. Groups such as the March of Dimes are a household name, but there are also organizations such as Graham's Foundation, which can be found at www.gramsfoundation.org that exists to further the awareness of premature pregnancy issues and IUGR in particular. This is a Stapp story tribute to baby Tara, who brought a lifetime of joy to all of us during her short time on Earth.